another section of whelping and raising litters. The puppies are six weeks old this week. They went to the vet this morning. We brought them back to the grooming shop. They were asleep. We did their little DNA tests for their genotype for PRA eye disorder. We'll talk about that in another segment. This segment is going to be, they're old enough now that we can start to stack them and they're walking soundly on all four legs in a coordinated manner for the first time at six weeks where we can begin to evaluate these puppies against the breed standard and decide which one might be between now and eight weeks, male number one, male number two, male number three, which one, in my opinion, is the best, the second, and the third best. This is the little girl that we already know, we know, and we're keeping and we love. This is Neil's little girl, Charlotte. And remember, you have moments with them. Don't be worried, just pick them up, boom, done. So here we go with the little girl. I'm just gonna kind of look over, put a little tail up. And I've got my husband over there taking still shots. They were groomed before they went to Neil's, which helps. And they're tired, which also helps a lot. Now, I will say, with my line of Springers, and I've talked to Ruth Demmel, of course everybody knows that I know Dottie, I know Kathy, I know everybody. Springers don't have puppy uglies, they just don't. What you see is what you get. What will change is the shape of the head. We will talk about that later, so you can't look at a puppy head. There are things about a puppy head that aren't gonna change. Let's start there. Flues. We are losing good flus in this breed. Please, please, please. If you plan to keep a dog for breeding, consider strongly a puppy that has the right flu. You want it to be mushy. You want it to be thick. You want it to be square. You want it to be below the jawline. Here's the jawline. See how this lip, see how this lip is falling below the jawline? It even jiggles. See that? That's what you want. You don't want something snipey like this. So the lips that the puppy has at six weeks old are the lips it's gonna have forever. Oh, let me think. The shape of the eye is going to stay the same for her life. She has a nice oval eye. On liver puppies, you said six weeks, I wouldn't expect the, the pigment to be all filled in and all dark. So we'll go through that. But on a black puppy, the pigment should be completely filled in around the eye and on the nose. Otherwise, you might have problems. Everything else about this head structure is going to change as time goes on. And we will follow these puppies as time goes on. And I will show you. So right now, I'm just getting little stacked up pictures. What does Debbie always say? This is not a breed you should judge stacked. Absolutely not. You can take the hair and carve this breed to look like anything you want it to in the show ring. This is a breed that I'm gonna evaluate moving, but it doesn't hurt to have them stacked. Actually, if you're gonna be showing a dog, start them at six weeks with their training. Just pick them up and drop them down. Don't play junior showmanship. A little bit there, maybe. Girl, that's a little front. There's her little back. I'm going to be talking about each puppy a lot more when they're on the ground. A lot of puppies at six weeks, you really can't tell the full length of the neck. The breed standard says the length of the neck should match the length of the head. Here's the length of the head. Obviously their neck needs to grow. <laughs> what you can see at six weeks, 
and what will be permanent is their shoulders. The length of their back, the space in here for their croup, whether they have this dip off the end of their croup into their tail, big chunky thighs or lean thighs, proper angled. This will also stay one third to one third to one third, meaning the ground to the hock, the hock to the stifle, and then the stifle to the top of the hip bone. It should be equal thirds. At six weeks, that will also be there. Her length of back is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna take a picture of this puppy today at six weeks as she grows up until she's fully two years old. And this will happen and I will show you. What you see in this picture today is exactly what you will see for the rest of her life. This is who she is. Her head will change, the length of her neck will change. Everything else is exactly as you see today. Let's do the other puppies. Look at you. Okay, we're at male number one. Their first six, their first bedding, as far as their structure, Here's male number one. We will follow, this puppy is, we can follow all the dogs. Two males are going to show home so I can get pictures forever. One puppy is going to a family friend at Carol so we can get pictures forever. And the bitch is gonna be with Neil. I can follow this whole litter up till the time that they're four years old. This is great. He's rocking back. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I can edit that out. Oh, it did a little bit. Here's male one. Mm -hmm. He does have the little dip there, which is fine. Nice top line. He's built more like Carson. He's got his daddy's rear end. Does not have this big, wide, thick, chunky hand bone. One third, one third, one third. That's good. His bone is good. Top lines are excellent. Length of back is excellent on everybody. He's got excellent length of back. Let's check what we can on the head. Ooh, big, 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 thicky, thick flues. Very nice. And they do fall below the jawline. There's the jawline and they fall below the jawline, and they're square. This puppy's probably got the best flu of anybody I've seen right now. I already know this puppy's got oval eyes. I've been watching his eyes since they were first opened. He's got permanent 24-7 oval eye. Pigment is fully in around the eyelids and the nose. You can start checking bites they all have a, um, a scissor bite right now. If there's going to be a bite problem with a scissor bite going level, it goes several weeks from now. So we'll follow that story if that happens. So, okay, all right, so let's get his little front. Here's his little front end. Mm-hmm. And again, try to do this when they're tired. They've been wound down. Little rear end. Got it? Yep. So here we go. There's male number, male number one. This is male number three. You can also take these little videos and put them on Facebook. 
get what you see is what you get. Very nice puppy. Big, thick thighs. One third, one third, one third. That's excellent. His top line goes straight over his tail. He does not have the dip, which is fine. Nice bone, good round top. His feet are really arched. We will take some still shots. Again, what this puppy is right now, he will be for the rest of his life. I'm not looking at length of neck or his head, just this body. Here's his little front. Such a big day. This is our biggest day ever in our whole life. Biggest day ever in our whole life. Let's check lips. Oh my god, his lips are even better than the girls. Really thick. Way thicker than the girls. And they hang nice and square. Nice square lips and again way over the jaw the jaws under here look how far they hang under the jawline that will stay that's permanent and let's see the shape of your eyes I've got to turn it this way first he's got a nice oval eye Depending on how this head develops, I could see him depending on his mood, where the eye is going to seem more round than oval with structure. I could see him going either way. So we'll watch that. Both are fine because you both are fine. And as they develop, I can show you what to do about that. Because some dogs, like I've got hazel eyes. Sometimes I look in the mirror and they're brown, more brown. Other times they're green. Same thing, some of these dogs are just on that cusp where depending on their mood, their situation, you look at them and they have an, a round eye, other times they have an old eye. And I'm seeing that tendency in this puppy here, which is fine, not a problem. Pigment, all in. Okay, so we're done with mail number three. And I'm looking for my final, my final bow at the end. And we're doing this a whole elimination thing. Who's going to get the red rose at the end? Right. Neil, we have to get a red rose. Right. And the male at eight weeks is going to be presented with the male rose. Don't they have that ceremony? Yeah. In the garden? <laughs> we have to do it. All right. So here is male two. Your meal too. I right, just the basics. Top line's good. Has a little bit of a dip here. Good. One third. The stifles right. You can feel the bone right there. One third. One third. One third. And you can feel the top of the hip. One third. One third. One third. Of course, in the show ring, you never see that because we groom we groom to the picture to have this short little hawk. But for the dog to move properly, and what have I always said? What's Debbie say? This is a breed you have to judge moving because we have destroyed the way we groom these dogs stacked. We are not, we are presenting a level top line here with no dip to the judge, and we are presenting this short little hawk to the judge, which has nothing to do with the breed standard. But now everybody's imprinted on that picture. So to move properly, they have to be one third, one third, and one third. This is boy number two. He's the one that always had like this lightning bolt. 
down his back. Let's take a look at your head. Your head's going to stay the same. Oh, very thick, 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 thick. Mushy, mushy lips, mushy lips. Okay. The jawline is under here. Let's see. Now just wait, just wait. Okay, well, we can't do anything while you're talking to me. They fall under the jawline. Not quite as square. What did I like? The male before this? Mm hmm. Okay, right. So his lip could be more square. I'll have to do it with pictures. And I'll have to do it when he's older. But he can have a little bit more lip here in the front. He's He comes up a little bit more there than what I would like. But there was one puppy that had really great lips in this litter. That's going to stay the same his whole life. No changing. He has had oval eyes since his eyes opened. He will be 24-7 with oval eyes. I, I honestly believe that male number three, which isn't a problem for showing, that depending on his mood, he's either going to have a round eye or an oval eye. Yeah, he's going to go back and forth. All the others are oval eyed. Personality, you start to see temperament at six weeks, could not at five. So temperament starting to come out now. Here's the front. Yeah, for like a second. That may be all you get. There are, they're, I think they're ready to play again, which was the whole point, because I want to get them down on the floor. And I just may tape audio over top the footage that we're going to do with them running. There's his rear end. I think we're good with that. So, male number two with the lightning bolt down his back. 